found in the panhandle of Oklahoma. This raw material has been the staple of a small town known as Beaver for over a hundred years. Every year, this material alone brings people from all over the world to this small town that would otherwise go unnoticed. What could it possibly be made of? Is it some sort of meteor that has fallen from the sky? A rare rock, perhaps, that is believed to have spiritual powers? Or is it cow poop that has been sitting in the hot sun for almost a year? Known to these people as a cow chip. Oh, I think it's the latter. In fact, I know it is. Home of the cow chip throwing world championship, Beaver, Oklahoma. The cow chip throwing capital of the world. Okay, cow chip is the actual droppings of the cow. <clears throat> when the cow eats the grass out in the pasture, it goes through and comes out as a runny mixture of grass and body fluids and it lands on the ground and it forms a small pile that's flat and round pretty much and it dries out and there you had your cow chip. Back uh, in, the early, in the early days of the cow chip competition, the town of Beaver got the uh, trademark to be the world championship cow chip throw. Oh, about uh, 11 years ago, 12 years ago actually, I, thought, I started thinking about getting on the town board and, seeing if I could help out with some things, and I had some ideas. So I got on the board and came time for the board to elect a mayor among themselves, and I didn't want the board, the mayor job the least. No one wanted it, but I wanted it, didn't want it less than the rest of them, so they made me mayor. Every year, third weekend in April, rain or shine, people from all over the world come to attend the Cow Chip Throwing World Championship. I am Charlene Marshall, Secretary Manager of the Beaver County Chamber of Commerce in Beaver, Oklahoma. This year we chose Pearl Haskell, our Pioneer Queen, and Clinton Haskell, our Parade Marshal, to serve as our World Cow Chip King and Queen. We're getting the age now where we're the, some of the oldest people here in Beaver County. Yeah, we are. We, and we were born and raised here in Beaver County. And it, it's an honor to be called Grand Marshal and Queen of Beaver County. Oh, I've tried it, but they always break up when I start to throw them. <laughs> so I never did have much luck throwing one. You gotta kinda know what you're doing. We've got one boy here in Beaver that's throwed him for years, and he goes and wins about everywhere he goes. So he knows how to do it. I'm James Pratt. I'm your world champion cow chip thrower, and uh, I've been world champion for like nine years now, and hopefully I'll make it 10 tomorrow. Well, the official a uh, documented world record is 185.5. Longest I've threw it is 200 feet, seven inches, but they say in mine was wind aided, so they wouldn't count it as a world record. So actually I've got the record, it just won't hold up. I'm going to explain you some techniques we use. Your, uh, your cow chips need to be at least six inches across. So we usually just kind of use our hand there to kind of judge how they are. And uh, you can throw overhand like I do, or you can throw frisbee throw, discus throw, shot put throw. But overall, over, overhanded works best for me. So that's, that's how I like to throw. And I think I already told you about the licking your fingers in between throws, so that's supposed to be for good luck. But uh... for your second throw, the tradition is you, you lick your fingers anyway to get a better grip on the chip. So in between throws, you lick your fingers, pick up the chip, and, and throw it. And some people are squeamish about licking their fingers after they've thrown one chip, but it doesn't matter. Like I say, it's just processed grass. It goes in one end of the cow and comes out the other. I do not lick my fingers. I think that's absolutely disgusting. Hi, I'm Dana Martin. I'm the nine-time world champion cow chip throw. I'm not the current champion, but I do hold the record at 146 feet, six inches. 
it's um, crucial that before you throw the chip, you shake the poo out of it. And the reason is because when you get ready to throw, you're gonna have such force coming at it, you don't want your chip to break in midair. So as you go over to the chip pile and you pick your chip, you're looking at it, and then you just like, shake it. If it falls apart like that one did, you don't wanna throw that one. So you pick another one and you shake it. If it doesn't work, and you shake it every way that you possibly can, even like you're gonna throw it. If it works, that's the chip for you. King Cow Chip has became our mascot over the years, and back in the early 80s, a gentleman named Jim Calhoun was an artist in our community, was visiting with several of the local JCs at the time, and uh, just started drawing on a napkin and came up with King Cow Chip, and he's been allowing us to use him as our logo for the Chamber of Commerce and to encourage people to throw the cow chips. The sun's rising and the roosters are crowing. It's the third weekend in April and it's cow chip throwing time. The cow chip competitors arrive early to sort through and pick out the very best piece of cow dung that they can get their cow chip throwing hands on. There you go. Technique to it. There you go, Chunky. <laughs> Dude, that thing will powder in midair. That thing's gonna hit and make a dent. <laughs> Let's see if Champ we can throw material. it as far as you normally can. I think, I think he took the best ones. You know he did. <laughs> <laughs> he dug until he found the best ones he could. That's why he's the world champ. That's yeah. probably you know what? I, I figured out the secret to the game's world championship. What's that? He's the first one of the chips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people that collect your chips are the Chamber of Commerce members or anyone else that they can suck her into going out and picking the chips up. They're already hardened when they go out and pick them up. You don't want to pick them up right when they're fresh. When they're fresh, you don't want them. You want to pick them up after they're good and dry. <laughs> all right, I'd like to welcome all of you. Beaver County, right up here to the world's champion cow chip throw. Proud to have everybody up here to Beaver County to see how we live up here. It's time to get tough and throw some chips. Oh, there's a good throw. Lick your fingers and get a better grip. There you go, there you go. Make us proud. Looks like it's gonna hit you, open your mouth. Oh, yeah. Current world champion, James Pratt, Beaver, Oklahoma. Well, we're gonna measure that no beyonder. I'm the champ for another year, so I get to carry this around with me for one more year at least. Do you mind? Do you mind just taking a no. quick snapshot for us? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Holding the title of being the couch. Oh wait, wait, time out. Forgot the coupe de jour. Woo! <laughs> Gotta get my lucky sweatband. Okay. All right. Holding the title of being the couch chip throwing champion comes with great responsibility. The fans, the press. But most of all, living up to the kind of man that's expected by the residents of Beaver, Oklahoma. And being the champion, not only of throwing dung, but the champion of a small town known as Beaver, Oklahoma.